right back again just straight after the next uh, last video so we'll see how we go I might get interrupted by the kids and if I do you know they might they might want to help knowing them but we'll see right so this is the review for the Cyber Hobby BF110D1 slash R1 uh, Dackel Bonge alright the Wingtech one if you notice you get a bonus engine in it. Alright, so, on with the box art. Well, what more can you say apart from that? It looks absolutely fan bloody tastic. Alright, you've got the ME the 110 with the, the external fuel tank. This one operated at the North Sea, attacking, as you can see, shipping. So, this is a fighter bomb, bomber. Alright, and with this, you get all these extra details, right, which we'll go through as we're going through the kit. I've had a quick look at it, all right. I have not had a really good look at it, so this is going to be the first time I look at this kit with you, all right. So let's open the box, shall we? Now right, it's a very big box, all right. Let's pull that there, and it's quite packed. So let's put this out of the way. So. Let's get the instructions and decals out of the way. Alright, and then we'll open the screws. Where shall we start? Where shall we put all these go through? There's two clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plastic screws. So Let's start with the fuselage screws, shall we? Put one back down there. Oh, falling over. Game 12. Um, let's start on this, shall we? Right. Not like Tamiya. Okay, with the staples, which I prefer. So let's get the fuselage out first, shall we? Right, let's put this light on, see if we get any more. Just quick, see if we can shed any more light on the matter. Not much. All right. Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. I don't know what you've been able to see, but some very, very fine recess detail on the fuselage. Very fine details. And you might not be able to see this, but on the ailerons, okay, it's actually rough as if it was fabric which is absolutely superb got the nose cone well part of the nose cone for some of the uh, the guns can't remember where it's on the top or the bottom on this one well I don't know whether that one's the top or the bottom alright we've got two fuselage halves there and what looks like the wing spar and some other bits and pieces and I am wow extremely extremely happy no flash at all. Apparently this is this has been slide mould smoulder, so I'm not expecting any seam line not seam lines there. Uh, whatever they're called. Finger lines, mould lines at all. I cannot see any injection pin marks where there shouldn't be, which is fantastic. That's that's through A. Moving on to another one of Sprue A. Right, and that, I believe, is the belly of the fuselage. And again, look at some of that detail. Absolutely fantastic. Nice looking plastic as well. And then on here we've got the tail wheel with very fine tread detail, which should take a wash quite nicely as long as you don't obliterate it as you're trying to uh, get get them together so that's the tail wheel, te wheel. and by looks of it that's the tail the very very tip of the tail but we'll find that out in a minute right so next one uh, this one I think I think these might be to do with the engine and the cells. 
because you do get two complete nacelles, but as far as I'm aware, you can build it with the engine showing, or you can build it without them, but you don't need to use the engine. Like on some, like the ME109 that uh, I'm doing, you have to build the engine up before you can put the prop on it. So, if the engine don't fit properly, you're going to have problems. All right. With this, you can build the end. You can build it with the engine showing, with the gun showing, or you don't have to. But you don't have to include those parts because it all goes together perfectly fine without them. All right. So we're moving up. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Right. You're not going to be able to see this, but they are some of the guns, and because the slide moulded. Actually, on the barrel, it's hollow on every single one of them. Oh, that is beautifully done. Now, I've never done a Cyber Hobby or a Dragon Kit, so this is all really, really new to me. So, forgive, 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 forgive me if I start drooling, because this is absolutely stunning. Yeah, and then this one's to do with the cowlings, some of the engines, the prop blades. And the prop blades are built like I like them to be built. I like them separate like that. So I find it easier to paint them separate and then put it all together. Okay. But again, really, really nice detail. And that's just a copy of that. I won't be starting this one for a couple of weeks, so I want to get the, the two jets out of the way. Next, we have two screws of the engine. Alright, so the engine detail is, in 148, this is spectacular. If I just show you that bit there, I don't know what part it is, okay, but just look at the detail on that. i move to the engines themselves. How fantastic do they look? That is, oh wow, I'm speechless. I really, really am. Look at the engine mount. I hope you can pick this up, but just look at that. Seriously, seriously nice kit, this. Wow. So I'll put them down. I'll have a look at the next one. Next one is the external fuel tank. Right, this external fuel tank, like I said before, it was used. This uh, this aircraft was used to bomb and attack shipping in uh, the North North Sea around 19, 1941, I think it was, and they decided to build it with an external fuel tank. Now, I believe. If you get some more decals, because you you've only got the two options of this, which we'll go through in a bit. It, you can, if you get more decals, you can build it without this part. Okay, so you can build a, I think it's a D1 without this, without the external fuel tank. But if you look at the ribbing on that, that is so realistic, it's unbelievable. And all the tiny, oh, I really hope you can pick these up, all the tiny really detail. On there, look. Not there. Really, it is fantastic. This is going to be a fun build, but well, I hope it is. Next, we move on to the wings. Alright, so we've got a sprue with the lower and a sprue with the upper. So as the sprue with the lowers on the top, we'll go, we'll go for that one first. And again, the rudder uh, parts are all, again, rough as if they're, they're, they're made in fabric. And the, the radiators, I know you, this can't really put this, this detail up, but it's absolutely amazing. Again, really, really fine. Can you just see that? detail to the uh, to the wings and the uh, rivet detail and the panel lines 
absolutely superb. Amazing amount of detail. And this is for a kit that I picked up for £27. Okay, 27 quid. Oh, again, fantastic detail. It's got the slats. But I believe to use the slats, you have to... We'll have a look when we go through it. You have to do a little bit of surgery along this part here. Okay, so you have to take a little bit out to be able to put your slats on and use the slats. Whether I'll do that, I don't know. But I think this, the slats on the German aircraft look quite cool. Again, loads of little rivets on the the flaps and the the fuel nozzles and whatever they put the the oils and stuff like that in. Absolutely brilliant. So next we move on to what looks like the cockpit. And I believe the wheel wells. So we'll start with the cockpit one. Yeah, this, I've just seen that. That bit there is the bomb rack, okay? I have not seen any bombs within this kit. But I know Sam Hobby do a D. D1 on its own, we out like so we out the external fuel tank, but it comes with a couple of bombs, and that's the bomb bomb rack. Alright. So the only new part that I can see is for that fuel tank. Okay. The rest is pretty basic. So if you wanted to build this without the fuel tank, you could. You just need fresh de uh, new decals. Okay. I've got to show you this. I hope you can see that. Look at that. Come on, work. Focus your thing. Yeah, can you see that? The instrument panel, absolutely brilliant. Cockpit walls. So I think you build this one up like a tub. Really, really smashing. Awesome detail. And on the the gun the the gun canister the round canisters wherever they're called okay really nice detail again and another bit what looks like the radios okay really really good detail so far I am well chuffed but obviously the proof is in the pudding when you actually build it. This bit here might actually be the roll cage, but we'll check that when we come to the instructions. Nice detail. That will take a wash really, really well in the wheel wells. Okay. Again, the main wheels. So this is wheel wells uh, and undercarriage. The detail on that, I hope you can see that the detail on that undercarriage there. So, because of the fuel tank, they had to strengthen uh, the undercarriage. So, that's the actual correct, correct, correct one for this aircraft with the extra fuel tank. Sorry, it's just it's unbelievably good. This kit, probably one of the best kits. I've ever seen. Right, I'm going to move on to the clear parts. Okay, so I'll quickly take these out. Right, you're probably not going to be able to see this very well, but you have a full canopy and one you can build in parts that so you can pose it open or closed. And again, some really, really smashing D details uh, yeah they're quite actually quite the 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 frame is actually quite prominent okay which makes it easier if you want to do your own masking now there will be a lot of masking okay but if you don't mind that like me 
it, it makes it really really easy and they are so clear there is no no magnification at all they're absolutely brilliant so I'll just put them over there for a minute right also in this kit you get a small bit of photo etch for the belt and the aerial that goes underneath your decals and you've actually got a bit of wire in there for your radio wire and a nose cone another nose cone so we'll actually have to have a look what, what, where that actually goes but it looks absolutely brilliant we know seam lines or anything like that absolutely stunning ok so we'll move on to the decal there are actually two separate bits uh, but we'll get on to that bit in a minute because that's to do with the the engine. So we've got the same as the box art, and as you can see, you get your sprue map, and it's a sprue map that's actually numbered. A lot don't actually number theirs, but it is fantastic. And you can see the parts marked in blue. Okay, the parts not used. Now there's over 280 pieces in this kit. Oh, okay, so it's going to be quite an involved build. Uh, somebody that's new to the hobby, I wouldn't recommend it. Somebody that's got a bit of experience, yeah, I think this will be a really enjoyable build. Right, the colours are in Aquarius Hobby Colour, Mr. Colour, and Model Master. <laughs> All there, okay, which I haven't got, so I'm going to have to use my app that I normally use, uh, I'm all converted to, to do it. Now, it's in grey, blue, and white, black and white, for the colour call-outs. Uh, a little bit busy for my liking, but as long as you're careful, okay, mark them off as you go along, you should not have any problems. Okay, then we'll move on to part two. Part one's all to do with the, the guns, getting the cockpit ready, and it's even, it's even got a detailed... Uh, painting instructions for the uh, go on the control panel okay and then on to the next part again some more of the cockpit yeah that little part was the roll cage okay and then you've got the separate canopy and now the bottom <coughs> showing you the full Canopy. And then it all, all squeezes into the two fuse alarms off. So I'm probably going to have to paint them separate and then pour it together. Now we move on to the actual as fuse alarms together, putting the wing spars, the belly, and the fuel tank on, and the wheels. And starting with the uh, getting the nacelles ready. Four, five, and then six. So this is where six comes into. Okay, so you can either build it like that, and the end units are all showing, or you can build it like that down there without the engine in, and it all goes together fine, which is good. So if you like showing engines off, and that's upside down, sorry, like showing your engines off, that's for you. If you don't, Okay, or you can build them, put it all together, and it still should go together perfectly. Then we go on to the final bit of the the wings, putting the wings together. Okay, put the wings together and put the undercarriage in. I'm going to have to have a look at that because I don't particularly like to build the undercarriage uh, and put it in there until the probably the one of the last stages if I'm honest yes there we are if you want to use the slats okay it tells you the surgery that's needed and it shows you how to install the slats and everything thereafter and that is the final tent is the final final part 
Then we move on to the paint and markers. There's only two aircraft for this, both from uh, ZG76 from the North Sea, both similar colours, so it's just whether you like zero or F or O and F. I think. Call that. Pity it's not in colour, all right. But as you can see, uh, the splinter camo. They've done it very, very hard, hard line. So a lot of mask, a lot of masking off, but it should, it should look the dog's wobbly bits once he's finished. Okay, and there's the other one. So a very, very similar pattern. Only thing I can't see, which is a little bit of the shame, is you get one side of the aircraft, the top, and the front. Okay, so. You do not get the other side, so you're going to have to guess. So that side, that one, and then you've got to guess what the other side is. All right, that's the only problem I can see with the painting mark. So we're a bit of hit and miss there, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, it looks a really wicked kit, and you can actually show as you look on the bottom. Do you see that? The angles of the wheels. We go into the carriage so you can get the angle right. I'm really, really looking forward to doing this kit. Okay, I think it's going to be a good, good fun build. Maybe with a little bit of swearing for some of the little bits and pieces. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to build it with the engines or not. Well, I think I'll play that by the by uh, by the time I get to it. Because normally, as you know, my builds go up on some ceiling. So you're not going to be able to see the engines anyway. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how we do it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, that review. Uh, I know I enjoyed looking at it. It looked absolutely. It does look a really spectacular kit. And remember, I got fourteen quid off this. Fourteen, fifteen quid. So right in my my price range, really. Okay. Anyway, stay safe and happy modelling. See you later.